Hey everyone, Witchy Cat Lady here in Dragon Adventures. I know it's been a hot minute since I've done a full length video. I was pretty sick. I appreciate everyone's patience and understanding in that. I'm slowly getting back into it. Just give me a little bit to kind of get back into it as I get my strength up. But I am here to give you some information. There have been a lot of updates to Dragon Adventures lately. You saw the video of all the stuff coming. If not, go check that out. It is one of the latest videos. But I'm here to explain some of the stuff that has been launched into the game. But first, I have a giveaway. And I want to say, hey, stick to the end to find out all that information. But I know a lot of you are here mostly for that or if you're here for everything else and you saw that there's a giveaway, you're probably going, oh my gosh, what is it? And you're just going to skip to it. So I'll give you all of that information first. And yes, that is my derpy Nadler in the background laying on the advent calendar. I will explain the advent calendar in a moment. Let's get to that giveaway so that you have that information. And then I know you're going to pay attention to the rest. So in this giveaway, and I'll throw up a couple screenshots from my giveaway alt i am giving away two noctorious you heard that right two noctorious dragons there will be two separate winners of this giveaway and you heard that right two separate winners each winner will get one noctorious and one grow potion so you can choose to grow it up from a baby or you can speed it along with the grow potion and this will last about a week I'll throw up the date that I'm going to choose it here on the screen since I don't have the calendar at the ready. And we're going to pick a code word. So to enter this, I want to see your Roblox username and the display name so I know I get the right person. And please enter code word tree. And if you want, tell me something that you're looking forward to with this coming holiday season. Anything. It could be in-game. It could be you know, with family, friends, by yourself, whatever it is. If there's anything that you're looking forward to and you want to tell me about it, I will read it. So again, to be one of the two lucky people to win one of the Blue Hatch preset Noctorious, sorry, I can't recall the name of the preset, please enter your Roblox username and display name along with code word TREE. When the winner is drawn on the date that I have decided that I'm popping up on screen here, I will send a friend request to the winners from my main account and the giveaway account. This time I'm probably not going to do a video on the winners, but I will post it on my community tab and I will tag you. So you will get a tag on my community tab and you will get a friend request. So keep an eye out for that around the date that I have chosen and put up here somewhere. So to get into all of this that's happening in Dragon Adventures, a whole lot has come in. Demon Raptor is here, as always, <laughs> clinging to my side. Yes, this is my derpy Nadler because it's the holiday season. We're going to put the Nadler away real quick and we're going to put Demon Raptor away real quick because Demon Raptor is very clingy. But as you can see here is our advent tree. So even if you've missed a day, you start at day one, you come in, and you get a prize every day. In order to get that prize, you have to do three missions. So the missions are anything out of this season. So you click your season if you don't know where to go to get the missions. And you're going to have daily missions here under the number one. And you're going to have weekly ones in here under this little tab. Pick any three of them. Any three you want to do. And you will get your reward. Day one was 10,000 coins. Day two is a cute little buildable that I'll go show you in a second. Let me fly up here. Let me pick a different Allah. Here, let's pick this one. Ferocity. I have not completely settled on a name for this one yet, but we're keeping fear in there because of the fear element. Eh, first name was Fear Me, then Fearsome, now Ferocity. I'm not settled on it yet. But you can fly around this tree and see all kinds of fun things 
that are to come. We have all kinds of potions, buildables. Up here, there's eggs. Look at that. You won't be able to get an egg until the 15th. The 15th is when the winter update completely arrives. So let's go down here and we'll show this Christmas bag buildable that we got for today. And we're also going to go ahead and hatch a shadow egg that I have in an incubator because the shadow altar did reset. And we could also get a Costragula. I have so much to show you guys. Let me see what I hatched out of this one real quick. A Noctorious. Yes, I'm the only one in here. We don't need to announce that. Okay. So we got that. Oops, I was about to leave. Let's see where our cute little buildable is. Seasonal, I guess. No, not that. Put that away. Where, oh, where? There it is, the present bag. Look how cute that is. I like that. I don't know where I'm going to put that. We're just going to leave that in the middle of the floor for now. How about that? But there is a lot of information to give you guys. Let me start with what is simple past the advent tree, which was pretty easy to talk about. It kind of, it's pretty simple. Do your missions daily. If you miss a day, just, you know, do six missions in a day to get two days. But two dragons have had a remodel. Let me get out of this grass. The Ample and the Taraka. So what's very special about these is there is no legacy model and the reason there is no legacy model is because these guys animations had some serious issues and it was causing issues with the pvp world so they had to completely scrap the old model but this is the ample and this is a full mutation ample it's very very fluffy it's so cute look at the dirt face it's so cute boop it all right now for the taraka all right, this one is only a two mutation, and yes, they are pure pitch. I am so sorry, I don't really have much else, because I've been collecting pure pitch in all the worlds. This is what the Taraka looks like. I love it. It looks amazing. Look at that. It looks like a real sea beast now. <laughs> so those were pretty quick and easy to show. We have lots of new things around the world. You can see those little stars and everything. Let us see some other things real quick. So the Shadow Altar now has this beauty in it, the Costragula. It is a 10% chance to hatch from the eggs. It has been quite an ordeal for me to get. I couldn't seem to buy one or trade for one. Everybody wanted massive overpay, so I just kept going back up to the altar and finally just got one for free for myself. So I kept my millions and kept all my high-end potions and got it for free and you know what you can too just put in your offerings and wait and just keep at it but that is a new dragon the Australia, which is the Australisis, maybe i think is how it's said I'm calling it the Australia. i've named mine luna this is in your season pass and your top the ison has returned the Australia is super cute. If you want to see a proper showcase, my friend Zach has a short. It's out of Zach's DA. I'll put up his channel name. He does a really good job with the showcases. He shows the no mutations and the full mutations. So you know what? Y'all can go watch Zach's showcase. He does a better job anyway. Something else in case you guys missed. I now officially own every single dragon in game. This beautiful Vade, I finally got a hold of for about 43 million. It did not look like this. It was pretty, but it was not as I envisioned. So I gave it Fear Element and played with the colors a little bit. And I've already got it fully leveled up. So it's Sanguine and Sanguine. It looks like a little Blackberry. It is full mutation, double legendary. I never want to grind for another one again. And that's just, that's just the way it is. I'm done. I'm not, I'm not going to collect these. I'm not. But I, it was totally worth it. I enjoy it very much. So let's get Demon Raptor back out and talk to you guys about all the other changes that have come into Dragon Adventure so far. So the first thing you're going to notice is these coins and stars around the map. The coins give, obviously, coins. 
The This size coin here is going to give you two coins. The stars will give you anywhere from like 11 to 66 experience each. And you're thinking, okay, that's really not a lot of experience. What's the point of that? Well, the point of that, let's say you have a low level dragon like this level one soar right here. I take this poor little fella out to some mobs and some higher worlds and he's going to get beat up. So this actually is a nice way to level up your low level dragons without getting beat up. Let me go find some of those stars. He's actually not far from getting leveled up. Oh, where'd they go? I gathered them all with Demon Raptor. No, okay, here they are. So look at this. So I'm gathering. So that was 18. That's not bad. Look at that. This is actually a nice way to level up your dragons without getting beat up in the mobs if you have a low level or if you just don't like doing mobs or bosses. I know plenty of people who prefer to level up their dragons by feeding them and bonding with them because they don't want to do the mobs or the bosses. So this is a nice alternative for that. I've seen some pushback in the Discord lobby. Some people are a little upset that the coins don't seem to give much, the XP doesn't seem to give much, but let me tell you what, if I was a brand new player and, oops, fell in the water. If I was a brand new player and this was in game, the stars, these coins for me to get, I would have had a much easier time as a new player. This is nice. When I first started, they, this game was not as it is now, and I actually struggled to level up my dragons. I struggled to get coins. This has coins and experience right in your face. And for a new player, that's really, really nice because it gives them something to do, something to work for that they can see pretty quickly. So that said, this other thing, they've changed the way the nodes and the trees are harvested. Instead of having to do that mini game where you had to click, 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 you know, I don't know many people that actually like that. Now you can attack the trees. And what's really cool about this is you can share them with other people. So you don't have to be the only one on here. If someone else comes in and is firing on it, then you both get rewards and you both take it down. You know, if you're finding out that, you know, okay, this is taking me a really long time to take down, then you can pair up with a friend or another player and work them together. And you also get a lot more from it. Look at all this. Look at all that coming up on the side. Isn't that nice? That's the equivalent of several trees that you would have had to do one mini game for. And you can just sit now and just blast away. Let's get this other one down. This would be better if I have a dragon with a better breath. Demon Raptor to the rescue. And see, you can pick up some of it as it's falling. So if you're like, okay, I just needed to get you know a couple apples or something for a mission, and you want to leave the rest of it, you can. And somebody else will eventually come along and blast it away. I've seen several in different levels of disarray in the maps. So that I love. I absolutely love it. And the resource nodes, let's go find one of those so you can see what that looks like. And there's one right there. Ask and you shall receive. See, and they're all over the place now, even way up there. And it's the same thing. Blast away and get all kinds of good stuff without having to do that annoying minigame. And another fun thing is there is hidden treasure. You can blast rocks, vines, all kinds of things to find hidden alcoves like this here. We're gonna blast that and in we can go. Here's some coins in there. Earlier, there was actually a chest in here. And my understanding is that there are five chests hidden in each world. I know there are at least five. Many people have confirmed five. I've found as many as three at once. Let's head up to Prehistoric and maybe we'll explore that a little bit looking for the chests. And I will show you guys the Shadow Altar as a refresher on what to do there. Hey guys, have you checked out Spirit Guides yet on Roblox? It's by DV Plays. It's a really fun survival game. It's like a player versus environment. And of course you have spirit guides 
I absolutely love this game. Check it out if you have a moment. It is so well made. The graphics are absolutely beautiful. There's quests. There's missions. Feel free to check out Spirit Guide's videos on my channel. And let's get back to the video you were watching. So here we are in Prehistoric. For anybody that does not know how to get to the Shadow Altar, here is where you spawn in. Just go right here past the observatory into this little tunnel. And now there's these cute little coins. So you can pick up some coins on your way down to the altar and some stars here at the end. And we're just going to plummet. Boom. All right. So our goal here, by the way, is now more reasonable. They have reworked that. So we don't really work up to like, you know, 59 million is the goal. Because that was just, that was, that was a lot. So how this works, in case you need a reminder or just you're new to it and need to know, you're going to come into the altar and you're going to see this. So your overview, the most you can get as a hatch percentage is 6%. I'm sorry, not hatch percentage, but a chance to spawn percentage. And I'm trying to think how to explain this. So the spawn percentage what happens is when there are eggs in there, the, a little timer goes up. So every five minutes, there's a dice roll for you to have a chance of an egg spawning for you. When an egg spawns, it is just for you. Only you can see it. Only you can get it. If you leave the server, if you leave the game, if you disconnect, it remains for you to go up there and find. So there's no worries. If it spawned for you and you couldn't find it, or you had to leave, or your game disconnected, don't fret. It's there. The devs have confirmed it's there, and I've actually purposefully tested this and confirmed that it remains. I have had alts completely leave the game and come back an hour later, and it is still there. You don't need to return to the same server or anything. It stays, so absolutely no stress whatsoever. It will remain for you. How the eggs refill. Once a week when the altar resets, and there is a timer here for when it will reset, it puts in something like a thousand eggs. And that usually takes several hours to go down. If you're trying to get a shadow egg, when this resets is really going to be your best bet, just because the most eggs are in there and everybody's throwing in their offering. The offering is global. The point system racks up as more and more people across the whole game add in food. I know the point system can be a little confusing. I'm going to try my best to explain. So how you get points and rack up your percent is based on how much food you put in. These are the lists of food that you can put in. Each one has a certain point system tied to it. And you can see that down here. So you would need less of the dragon fruit as compared to watermelon to get the same amount of points. You can even offer up meat and bacon. So it's any food that you can farm plus meat and bacon from the mobs. 6% uh, spawn chance is actually going to be 200,000 points. But I can tell you right now, I've had alts sitting at 4%, getting eggs no problem. There have been people still getting eggs even at 1%. So contribute what you can. Now, this goal up here on how, how it gets filled is total more points that people are putting in. I'm going to try to explain that. If you have questions, do let me know in the comments. I will do my best, and maybe somebody else can explain too. So every time food is put in, points are added to this. When it reaches this end total, another 100 eggs is added. And every time the new total is reached, another 100 eggs is added. So, like, I've put in food. I could put in more food if I want to. I'm already at 6%. I have two alts at 6%. I think I've contributed quite significantly. Um... <laughs> But I run up here every now and then to see how it's doing, which is actually where I got the two Noctorius that I'm doing for the giveaway. And once you've put in an offering, you're good for the whole week. You don't have to keep 
adding more if you don't want to. So like an example here, I have 200,000 points. I'm at a 6% spawn chance. I'm going to keep all of that for the next five days until this resets. And then I'll have to do it again for the new week. So I hope that makes sense. If not, please let me know. Now here's what you need to know about an egg spawning for you. So right now it says there are no eggs available because there literally are no eggs available. When eggs become available, a little timer will come up over here. And then every five minutes there will be a dice roll. You, an egg either spawns for you or it does not. If a big X comes up, it did not spawn for you. If the timer just goes back to being a timer, it did not spawn for you. Now, you don't have to sit here. You can go do anything in prehistoric that you want to do. You can fish, you can do mobs, you can farm, you can explore, you can do a boss, you can do whatever you want. A chat thing will pop up in here. Now, I will give you this little bit of advice. Sometimes the chat does glitch. I've had an egg spawn for me. It'll show it here on the timer that an egg has spawned for you. Go find it in the world. But the chat didn't show anything. So if you are out in the world while there are eggs available, I do suggest that you periodically come down here and check this to see if you still have a timer or if an egg has spawned for you. When an egg has spawned for you, you're going to want to go back out and find it. I get there quickly by just hitting reset character. And that puts me right back out here. So I don't have one spawn, so I can't show you what it looks like, but I will have a screenshot somewhere that I've dug out. I'll put up here somewhere. It is a purple nest, and it will spawn out here anywhere in the world. There are some set spawn locations. I don't have them all memorized. Some of them are out here on these little islands. Some of them are closer in around in here, but it will look like any other nest, just be very, very purple. And the sky will be purple for you around in here when you have an egg that has spawned. But the nest will be very, very purple. I know that this spot up here is one location that likes to frequently spawn for me. I don't know why that location of all locations, but it does. I hope that makes sense. Again, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I will do my best to answer, and maybe somebody else can too. The other great thing that has changed, go away, Demon Raptor, you're in the way, is fishing. This, I think, has changed for the better. I know some people uh, don't care for it for various different reasons, but I like it. And let me show you that. So you're going to click and look at this. You literally can't fail it. Look, I purposefully misclicked. And I'm still keeping my fish. Isn't that awesome? But what you want to do is click it into that area. And there will be different colors based on the rarity of the thing you have on the line. If you click into that lighter color area around the edges, it just reels it in a little bit slower. So your goal is to get that middle area so that it reels in a bit faster. They have a very similar mechanic in Animal Kingdom, which is where they're pulling a lot of these ideas from, including the coins and experience out there. If you haven't played that, go check it out. It's actually pretty cool. You can role play in there, or you can just level up a creature that you choose. You know, run around, get experience, beat up mobs. It's, it's actually kind of fun. I, I like playing it every now and then. Let's see if we can get one more fish to show you how this works. Maybe I'll be lucky and get something amazing. Nope, just got a squid. But you can see here, this is a different color because the squid is a different rarity than the other things I was pulling in, which is pretty cool. I don't think this is going to be an easy fishing thing to AFK. There's probably going to be mixed feelings on that. Uh, let me think if there's anything else that we have not talked about. This is being stitched in because what I did forget briefly is that Grasslands has had a revamp. And oops, stuck on the thing there. The mobs have also had a little bit of a revamp, just how the mob area looks. So we'll show you that as we get there. And the mob revamp is in all of the worlds, which is this here showing the bones instead of the X's. I absolutely love it. And yes, there are egg spawns now in the mobs. 
because it's fun. It's an adventure. But here is Grasslands now. Let's fly up, up, up. This is so much better. Let's get the graphics all the way up here. Uh, well, up a bit anyway. Look how gorgeous this is. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I haven't actually been to Grassland today, except for right now. This is absolutely beautiful. They've done such a good job on this. I love this. Oh, look, a fairy circle. Whee! Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, no fairy. No fairy came to get me. I tried. I tried to get a fairy to take me off to fairyland. But this is wonderful. This looks more like a grassland now, I think. This is so pretty. But yes, here's where the fishing area is. This is so nice. Wow. Ooh, coins out there. Whoop, I missed it. Absolutely missed it. They did leave some things like this, this guy up here, this building. Because why not? Because it looks nice. Tell me, guys, what you think of the Grasslands revamp. I like it. It's way more open now. Okay, this one area over here was always really crowded. Let me go over this way, see how they've done. Oh, yeah, they've opened that up. Look at that. That's nice. Please don't forget to enter that giveaway if you are interested. I will put up the requirements for that again here before we end this video. I'll need your username. Your display name so I know exactly who you are so I can friend you and please enter code word tree with your display name and username in the comments and good luck to everyone thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in game or another video bye